Hi y'all. Welcome to another wonderful, exciting edition of Grilling with Bubba. So today, um, this is not something that you necessarily have to make on a grill. Uh, and it's not something that never necessarily started out as uh, grill food, I guess. So what I've been seeing is this stuff called birria. All right, it's a, it's a stew. Um, and I think it's out of the Jalisco region of Mexico. And I think it's generally or traditionally made with, you know, goat in it. And it's got, you know, different peppers and stuff in it. And it just kind of stews in that. And sounds like really delicious if you look it up, look up the recipes. So I decided, and I've seen people making tacos out of this. So I decided I was going to give it a shot. Kinda. So we're going to... We're gonna make our, our faux birria tacos. Um, you can see we got a nice assortment of peppers and everything there. And we're gonna get those all done up. We're gonna use some uh, leftover rib meat from some ribs that I smoked. And uh, then we're gonna have some potato salad that's getting made over here by my bride right now. So uh, give me a couple minutes and we're going to get this all started up and I'll let you know what I'm doing and, uh, and how it tastes. And hopefully it's wonderful. Just like everything else I make is. Even if it tastes like crap, it's wonderful. It's got to be. It's made by me. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to uh, kind of get the seeds out of these peppers and then we're going to steep them in some water. We're going to take those out of that water after that and we're going to put them in a in a blender with some uh, garlic, some Mexican oregano, and a couple other things. And we're gonna blend those up, and then we're gonna get this sauce started, or this, uh, this uh, birria style broth. So what we have here is first we got some uh, pasilla chilies, then we got some huajilla chilies, and then we got an ancho chili right there. Now these are really easy to do. Just cut the end off of it and just kind of dump the seeds out. Now most of the seeds are out the ends. Now if you don't mind a little heat, then uh, you can go ahead and leave those in there. But not everybody enjoys that. So we're gonna go ahead and get these done up and get them in that water. All right, so y'all can see we got all these chilies kind of cleaned up here. We got all the seeds out. So now what we're gonna do is we've got us a pot of, uh, pot of water here. And it's just at a simmer. You don't need it real high. But we're gonna take these chilies and we're gonna drop them all in here. And we're gonna let those things steep for about 20 minutes. And then we'll get the blender and everything and we'll uh, get the next process started. All right, so now what we're gonna do next, is we're gonna take, we've got those peppers all steeped up. So we're gonna take those and we're gonna put them in the blender. And we don't wanna use the juice that we've been steeping those in because that can get kind of bitter. So we wanna take those things, we just wanna drop them right in here. Make sure we got all of them. All right, that looks good. So we're going to take those and go ahead and pour that liquid out. We're going to use this pan again right quick. So we've got those in there, so we've got to have some other stuff that we're going to add in there with you. Now it says, when I'm reading this, to add three to five cloves of garlic. Well, I'm kind of lazy, and we go through a whole lot of it. So I've got a big jar of minced garlic already right here. And we love garlic. Does that look like three to five uh, cloves to you? Yeah, a little bit more for good luck, good measure. Just because that's like how we like doing things. Uh, the next thing that we're going to put in is some good Mexican oregano. And we're going to put in a good uh, tablespoon or so of that. We're going to put in about 
half a tablespoon of dried thyme. Let's see if I can get that extra lid off of there. That thing's almost empty, so. All right, so we've got our thyme in there. Now a couple of special secret ingredients that, I, that I've seen. And apparently you don't want to use a whole lot of this stuff, but you do want to have some in there. So the first thing is some ground cinnamon. So we're going to go ahead and put it in. Looks like that thing's clogged up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and put in a little bit of cinnamon and some ground nutmeg. Now you can do this fresh if you want to, but obviously I'm not going to. Like I said, I've never done this before either, so who knows how, how this is going to come out. All right, now for our beef flavor and intensity that we got, um, like I said, I'm using leftover rib meat. So what, we, what I got here is just some French dip, au jus. Uh, you're supposed to water this down uh, three to one, so we've got that. It's about a cup. And then I've got about three ounce, or three cups of extra water in there. So we're gonna go ahead and just pour all that in here. All right, looks like a good fit. Go ahead and uh, mix this up a little bit. That's probably good. Let's check it and see. Make sure we don't have big chunks of those peppers and everything, and we don't. So that was definitely about the right amount. So we're going to take that back over here. We're going to pour that back in our pot. I've dumped that uh, liquid out, that steeping liquid out, and then we're going to put that in there. Now this is going to serve as the the uh, consomme or uh, the, the stew juices and everything. Um, now another thing we're gonna do, in just a minute, we're gonna go ahead and put some onions in there and uh, we're gonna chop up some cilantro for it. We're going to use the rest of this onion right here to put in our tacos. Alright, so we've got some of those onions put in there now. So what we're going to do, I'm going to grab a spoon, give that a little stir, looks like we dropped some cilantro right there. So we're going to go ahead and give that a little stir. We're going to let this heat up and kind of cook down a little bit. And one thing that I think I did forget, so we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of that in there is a little ground cumin. Got to have a little bit of cumin, right? I bet that was probably uh, half a tablespoon right there. I tend not to use measuring spoons unless I'm, you know, baking or something like that, which I don't do a whole lot of, but leave that up to my bride. She's a lot better at it than I am. So we're going to go ahead and let that cook and, uh, and bubble up, and then it'll reduce down a little bit. And that's going to come up with a little bit of fat, so we'll kind of skim that off. And then we'll use that, along with a little bit of olive oil, to uh, cook these tacos with. So we're almost ready to hit the grill. Oh, 
All right, I think we're ready. Looks like we got uh, everything together. Got that heat going on the Weber right there. So uh, I think we're gonna try to put some of these together and see how it comes out. Again, this is something that I've never done. So I uh, wanna see how this turns out. Hopefully it comes out really good. So we got some of that chili oil and uh, uh, olive oil mixed together. So we're gonna spray this thing down real good, get them going. Let's see if we can get a couple of, oh yeah. Those are cooking up nice. Those are starting to go. So uh, we'll give that a second on one side and then we'll go ahead and flip it over. We're gonna do. We're gonna add some jack cheese to both of these. Start. Let, let that go. Gonna get some of this rib meat. We're gonna put some of that on both of them. A little of this fresh onion and some cilantro. Woo. Now we're going to take this first one. We're just going to flip it over. If I can, that fire's hot. Alright. We've got one and two. Look at those things. Goodness gracious. And that doesn't take long at all. So we're going to go ahead and make up the rest of these and then we'll meet you back in the house to finish this off. All right, so uh, we got these things made up. We got, a, we got a mess of these things made up over here. We're going to go ahead and put the lid on this and let that thing calm down. But you can see what we got going off here and got a little couple of little hot spots on that thing, but that's all right. We've already uh, tasted a couple of these in the middle of all that. And uh, these things turned out delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and take these in the house. We're gonna make up a couple of cups of that uh, broth to dip these things in and uh, we'll let you know how it goes. Right, looks like everybody's ready for a bite. Right. Got the official floor cleaners in here. All right, so here's my official taste tester. So go ahead and give it a shot. And let's see what you think. So people don't know that I'm a huge street taco fan and this smoked brisket in a taco with the cilantro. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Still the smoked meat in the tacos with all of this amazing fresh cilantro and onions is amazing. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, yum this stuff up, and uh, this has been another adventure in uh, grilling with Bubba. Y'all have fun. <laughs>